Okay, cool. <clears throat> so this is our first time kind of going live um, with OcuShaper here. Uh, my name is Nick Hodgkinson and I'm the sales and marketing manager for OcuShaper. Um, we're based out of Hawaii and uh, I'm located here in San Diego. Uh, a quick little hopefully kind of quick tutorial on uh, I'm gonna work on a board today for a customer <clears throat> um, who wants to replicate a, a twin fin foam board I just need to grab a couple tools here um, I wanted to kind of start it from scratch <clears throat> so uh, everyone could see kind of how I walk through the steps um, how I find everything and uh, you know get get the whole process started so <clears throat> um, I'm gonna do a couple things here here's the board itself um, it's in the trash because I was working on this yesterday but so this is the board that we're looking to kind of mimic um, in the software uh, there's a few ways to do this and I'm gonna walk through kind of how I how I would do this for this customer um, so he sent me a file over let me just find it real quick it's this untitled one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open the software <clears throat> and I'm gonna search for it in there I'm using a MacBook uh, Pro so if you're using a Windows system it, it may differ a bit but <clears throat> generally speaking um, with the MacBook I'm gonna go hit that open OSX native option. Let me do it one more time. So for the MacBooks, you're gonna to wanna to use this <clears throat> option there. Um, I've got all my files saved here. I'm just gonna go find the one that he sent me. <clears throat> so this is the file he sent me. Um, and let me just pull this up for reference. So it looks pretty good. Um, you know, I think that it's pulled in a little too far up here in the front and then maybe not quite enough in the back. And I don't have a rocker profile on this, um, but generally, I, from my understanding, these are a bit flatter board, um, maybe like two to three inches rocker in the nose and uh, two or less in the tail. Uh, you know, that, that could vary by which board you're, you know, kind of trying to replicate. So anyways, um, let me just jump back into working with this file and the software. I'm on version 2.30. Um, slices look pretty good, nice and burly, <clears throat> kind of how that board is if you've ever felt a foamy under your hand. And then in the uh, top and bottom preview, the customer, this is the file he was working on. Um, there's quite a few points in here. He was trying to get this eccentric rocker um, in the nose, but I, I think that was just the picture not looking right. So obviously looking at this original file from him in a couple angles, you can see that this probably isn't uh, going to work too well. <laughs> so what I'm going to do instead of manipulating this file, because he's got one too many points in the outline, as well as this whole rocker setup is looking kind of funky. So back to my original picture. Um, let me just pull that down real quick. This guy. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So let's try to just kind of start this from scratch and do this as quickly as possible. So I'm just gonna start a new board. If you're in 2.30, we have all these different options here. Um, I'm gonna go with a, a fish design. You could maybe try to do like an egg or a fun board just cause it's got a lot of width and stuff. Um, but I think a fish is gonna be probably most appropriate. So I, go, I went ahead and pulled that out. Um, and then I'm just, I'm gonna image this board. Um, I know that that file worked okay. Um, so again, to image, you know, I'm gonna image board, outline, and then I'm gonna go find that picture real quick, just for my own reference. So there it is. Okay, and then you see here, hold T, ho hold N. Um, so I'm holding T, clicking the tail, kind of lines it. Holding N, clicking the nose, kind of lines it up there so you can see how that works out. 
not super precise it uh it really you need you need the right um image the image needs to be kind of perfect so you may have to manipulate it a bit this one came out pretty close so i'm i'm pretty stoked um and as you can see i'm kind of just rolling this rail to mimic where we're at on this board and that's looking pretty sweet to me i mean obviously i didn't pull it all the way out but that's because the board the image isn't you know perfect um but you can see i've got just about the right amount of tail uh width in here so it looks good the nose came out nice and round we got like that you know base kind of contour line in the bottom so it's looking pretty good and i'm glad i started this board from scratch um you know just just because uh that last one was a, a bit difficult now what we need to do from here we're probably about a, a third of the way done um we need to pull up the dimensions of that board that he had um originally so i just remember what it was and uh it was five nine so i'm just going to go in here five nine i'm using the feet in decimals um i can change that the width was 22 and a quarter, or uh, yeah, 22 and a quarter. And then the thickness was actually three and seven sixteenths, but I'm just gonna go three and a half because that's pretty massive. And then, yeah, you can kind of see where we're at with it. I'd say I have mine a bit bubbled out. Um, you know, I might go something like 21 and three quarters, just doesn't have to be perfect for this one here but 21 and three quarters pretty wide anyways so my outline's looking pretty good i'm feeling pretty pretty confident about that um just you know some of these arrow keys here but anywho let's just keep pushing forward um now for this board i don't think it has quite this much v in the tail um as you look at these slices here they blend into each other um if you hold down the space bar and uh oops or I'm sorry, the shift key, and just slide through the board. You can see how the uh, slices blend together, you know, to give you a continuous outline. But as I was stating, I, I don't think that this board has quite that much V in the tail, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this slice entirely from there, um, which basically, you know, holding that shift key down again, this is the tail. It's got, you know, it does have slight V at the moment, but... We'll keep that for now. So I just want to check in. Okay, cool. And then just kind of moving through the design here. Um, for a foamy, I mean, if you look back at the original uh, picture that we were working with, it'd be nice if I had a, slide, sl uh, a side profile of the board. Um, but just from my own essay, I kind of, you know, I'm just gonna shoot this straight, you know, from what I know. So what I'm gonna do here is I think in the nose, generally speaking, we're at four and a quarter, a little over four and a quarter. Um, so we're gonna wanna drop that down. It doesn't have quite that much nose rocker. So I'm gonna use the end rocker tool here. Um, this'll pull the top and the bottom down at the same time. And I'll just get it to kind of where I feel comfortable with it. Um, that's three and three quarters. It's feeling pretty good because I know I'm going to pull this nose down. And I'm going to do the same thing to the tail. I'm just going to... Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to pull that down just because, as, as you can see here, it starts to like warp that tail too much. Um, but for that, I'll just use the back button to get me back to the original where I was at. Um, so it's two inches in the tail. Right now, it... Uh, it is um, one in, one and a quarter inch thick, so it's pretty thick in the tail. I might just pull it out just a little because it's he's replicating a foamy, <clears throat> um, and I'll just slide into my bottom tab to do that. So I'm just gonna just a couple clicks, you know, make it. That's an inch and a half. That's pretty thick. So keep it there. Same thing with the nose. Normally these foamies have a big bubbled out nose. So I'm just gonna kind of play with that, make it an inch thick in the nose. It's actually, they, they generally they're a bit thicker than that anyways. I'm gonna go back to the top just cause uh, uh, watch me do this um, spot check button. It pulls all the tabs. So my thinking is here in the nose, 
it's got this kick like a normal short board but on these foamies it doesn't have that so I'm gonna just pull that kick out by grabbing this yellow node here just kind of pulling that flat spot check it again so that's looking pretty solid pretty mean he'll be able to kind of curve those that that nose out that sharp nose as he shapes the shapes it in um, if I wanted to you know I could really just get in on this nose here and um, you know manipulate this to you know kind of have a rounded point there's a few different things I can do in here um, but I'm not gonna do that today we're just gonna keep it nice and simple uh, spot check uh, zoom fit jumps me right back out you know what I want to do from here is check it out in the bay um, some of my personal favorite angles are from you know behind the board there's a few different keyboard shortcuts you can play around just check our YouTube channel out and you can take a look and see some of the keyboard shortcuts but generally speaking we're looking for a, a nice seamless transition here um, because this board's so flat and so thick um, it's looking pretty good it could be a little bit better especially kind of my opinions back this this uh, little bump in the back might pull that out in the outline using this node here back button use that it's your best friend but for now um, I'm feeling pretty good about that it looks it looks okay um, and then, you know, I always try to kind of look at it directly from the side just to, you know, make sure we get the right contour. I'd say maybe here at the tail, we, you know, you could probably just kind of pull that down just to, like a hair. Um, you know, if you wanted to like add a point, which is what the customer did, you know, and he kind of pulled that down like that. So as you can see now, it's got more fullness in the back. And yeah, um, if you're on the heavyweight, you can do a couple other things. You can uh, preview the top cuts, um, which is great just to kind of make sure the board's coming out smooth. It helps you look at a few different things. I, I personally like the heavyweight just for that feature because when you start getting kind of more complex designs, this really starts to kind of come in handy. Um, so anyways, some of the just different... Uh, you know views <clears throat> help you look at it make sure it's nice and smooth but that's looking pretty good so i think i would probably send this back to the customer um you know if you're on the pro you can get in here and <clears throat> i mean the heavyweight and you know really kind of figure out the boards it's nice because if when you get the board blanks and you have this fit the board in blank feature you can see how well your designs and your rockers are because they match you know the professional blanks so this one you know obviously this doesn't fit but 610a it's looking pretty good the only other thing i might do is i might say you know i might go in here and kind of name it all you know say especially because this is for a customer you know edited today you know to and I will go back and I will just save as and you know we'll call this you know customer one edit I'm gonna save it to my desktop so I can find it later just go ahead and save that and you're done hold that board from scratch um, could have took a bit more tweaking but overall is pretty smooth so um, thanks for joining in today. Uh, we'd like to do this more in the future. If, uh, if you have any friends that you think might be interested, please let them know about uh, some of our tutorials. Next time we'll, we'll do a, an announcement prior to so everybody can join in. And if you have any questions, um, email us, info at ocushaper.com. Uh, send us a message on Facebook. Send us a message on Instagram. Uh, check out our YouTube channel. Like I said, uh, we've got the foundational 15, um, 15 videos. If you watch through them all, uh, you should be pretty well versed to kind of go through like I just did and knock a quick design out. All right. Thanks for joining today and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.